Guys, it's uh, Rob from uh, Get Slashed, and this is uh, part two of Balcatta. We've uh, now done the tilling, and as you can see, it's all been mulched back into the dirt. I've gone over it twice. It was pretty thick, and uh, it'll be interesting to see. We'll monitor it now and uh, see how it goes closer to the slashing season, which is around about uh, three months away. Picked up a couple of bricks and stuff, but you'd expect that because uh, there was an old house on this and it had been demolished. And I have also pulled out the uh, sexy looking is the only word, Peruzzo Moto Frog. So we'll just have a bit of a look at this machine here. There it is there. And uh, this is a completely different mower. It's got a series of hammers under there. So it's what they call a fly oil or mulching mower. And this one is very unique. Uh, it's got tracks. It comes in a wheeled version, uh, which you can have dual wheels and uh, a tracked version. The tracked version is really good for orchards and things like that. You can put different types of blades on it. At the minute I've got the normal cutting blades for grass, but you can put dedicated mulching blades. And you can also turn it into a verti mower by putting uh, direct blades. Everything's very adjustable. You've got two speeds on it, for, uh, two forward and one reverse, plus a high and low. So it's technically a four speed machine. Plus this lever allows you to both adjust the height and also to offset the uh, whole machine. So, and the result, as you remember the verge earlier in the day, is that, I haven't blowed it off, but if I blowed that off it would be clean. So there's no grass that you have to take away. It's nice and fine, and that will mulch down. In the next few days, you won't see that. That'll break back down, and you can see it's really short. I'd say we're around about uh, 20 to 15 mil is uh, where we're at with it. So it's cut it right down, and we've got a lovely finish to what was uh, should have been a pretty average-looking block. It now looks really good. I've left the perimeter intentionally because when we come back, I'd like to see the difference between doing the tilling and uh, also leaving the grass as we have. So the, uh, the whole uh, idea is to become as eco-friendly as we can. The tractor is extremely efficient, so fuel efficient, a lot more efficient than a hydraulically driven machine. So using the PTO and the standard drive that this tractor's got, it makes it extremely fuel efficient. So these jobs, again, are not costing us much carbon into the environment, which is another thing to consider. Even the uh, Briggs motor on this has been tuned to just get the right revs out of it, so you can't over rev it, and it's got plenty of power to do this sort of work. Anyway, this is, uh, you know, uh, early August uh, here in Perth, WA. The sun is out now and uh, the grass is growing. See you soon.